So I work for State Patrol. We're going to do a little bit of uh, training with some defense, some choke defenses. They're going to show us uh, a couple of cool moves like guillotine defense maybe and uh, just help us stay safe out there. We're going to come in here. You grab me around the throat here. And what I'll do is I'll get this hand in. Go ahead, lock it up. If it's already locked up, I'm here. Because he has to bring his hips in. He can't bring his hips in now. To choke me. Squeeze as hard as you want. I'll throw you over. Or, fight here. Because there's a way to get out super, you don't even have to go. So we'll do this one first. So here, if I don't have my hand in, I'll press here, move my head out. He's on the ground. Now, uh, get on your toes, wrap over my shoulder, right here for it, yes, and now drop to your side. So first thing is, we don't want someone up here underneath our armpits. Because if someone starts to get up underneath your armpits, you don't have any power to bump on your hip. Your hip bump is what's protect your face. Because if he's trying to punch me here, he's gonna hit me all day long. And no matter what I do, I'm gonna be here and then my arms are out of position. Elbows out of position is usually a problem uh, when, when, when I'm teaching. So the first thing I do is, see this here? This is keeping you on my hip. Try to, try to remove yourself forward, okay? And so let's say I don't want his hands in a way that he can punch me. Here he can punch me, but usually a punch comes from rearing back and then they get right. Look, as he starts to punch, just that in itself is gonna set you up, okay? So if we started on the ground here, there's two things. If a person is holding you, they're holding you. If they're attacking you, there's space, there's a, there's a moment when you can capitalize on that. So first we start on the mount here, you just got to mount, so you're here like this. Okay, I'm here like this, and you want, the thing I would worry about is headbutt, so you can put your head up like this, so you don't have to worry about headbutt, but this here I wanna keep. So he rears back to try to try to punch me, he's gonna come up, boom, I'm right here again. But the, the, the hands are here. Now you feel that you can't really, you have to keep your hands on the mat, or on the ground, right? Try to take them off, try. Just that in itself is gonna help you out. And then we can talk about the trap. You can trap here. You don't really need to. If I go here, look at this latch. And then I'm here, up. Take your leg out. Take your leg out. Take your leg out. You see how slow I can go? Why? The way I trap the leg is I put my foot down and I bend open up my hip and, and make it close to the ground to where it keeps the leg stuck. So when you guys are doing trap roll escape, rather than focus on the explosion, focus on the trap. So this, or this, see? Can you pull your leg up? He can't pull his leg up. Digging your heel to the bridge of his shoe. Yeah, and then look, this is the pressure. And then I'm here and I go, huh? Come on over, and then you're here. Throat, the chokes. <laughs> the choke. Awesome. <laughs>